Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. This is game number two of our doubleheader tonight. The San Diego Toreros start season three off hosting the Citadel Bulldogs here in week one. Should be a good matchup. Uh, not too crazy as far as disparity here between the ratings. Defense is the biggest gap, obviously, with a D for the Citadel and a C-plus for the San Diego Toreros. They had a rough season last year, of course, but they did finish it on a strong note, winning their final game of the year and a blowout. Let me see who we got in the chat, and then we'll get this thing popping and see if we can get some touchdowns for Tess this season. Please slap that like button if you have not already. We got Tyler Rocky in the chat, The Demon, Noah, Tom Schaefer in the chat. What's going on, my brothers? How you doing? All right. Let's do it. San Diego Toreros. Forgot what offense they ran. I'm scared. Hold me. Well, let's, uh, let's pick a uniform. We're not going to rock this alternate right now because that color is a little bit too much like the Citadel. So we're just going to go with the blue. And I am going to go and double check the playbook here for a second. All right. All right, I'm good. Let's do this. Big Geo in the chat. All right, let's do it, folks. I'm ready. Can the Toreros turn around this season? I believe they can. Optimus, have I ever told you that I love you? I love you too, Noah. Demetrius George in the chat. What's going on, man? Oh, we getting him to a bowl game this season. You best believe, sucker. You best believe. Last season, we just had so much stuff go wrong for the Toreros. And as you can see, not a whole lot of fans here tonight, but it is a little bit loud. And we're going to get the ball first. Offense for the Toreros is this. Sophomore quarterback Xavier Wilson gets the start. They did get a transfer. Uh, Eric Spears Jr. transferred from Cal Poly, but he will not be able to uh, be eligible to play until next season. At halfback, Robbie Ballard Jr. Sophomore fullback Bo Davis, number 36. A couple junior wide receivers here. Doug Lay and Demetrius, primetime George, number 2. And Riley Porter, sophomore receiver and left tackle Brick Wall is a junior. All right. They also lost quarterback Daryl Ballard to transfer. That was an awful start to the season. Wow. They switched up their offense, though. They are no longer running a triple option attack, thank goodness. Or whatever they tried to run last season. It was rough. Hey, Robbie Ballard, the football. Oh, boy. Good tackle to start for number 47 of the Bulldogs. Xavier Wilson, a dual threat quarterback. Not the greatest passer in the world, but he can definitely make some plays with his feet. And there's Bo Davis up the gut. Look out, Bo Davis, the fullback in the open field up past the 40. What a run for the big fella. Let's go. You love to see it, Noah. You love to see it. Don't even start to hate. What's up? All right, who we got here? A couple of new tight ends out there on the right side. Deep shot right side to Mason. Freshman tight end comes down with it inside the 40. All right, let's go. Some fireworks here already tonight. Gotta love it. Noah, you're so hurtful. Big fullback runs for like 30 yards and you boo him. Terrible. Robbie Ballard, left side off tackle. First down and more down to the 21. He fumbles it. Oh, 
no! Come on! Come on! Jay Washington in the chat. What's going on, Jay? Halfback would have scored, Noah. Yeah, he just fumbled, bud. Oh, boy. Well, that's a rough start. It was looking really promising. Really promising. Let's pause this, take a look at the defense right quick. Boom Johnson at defensive end, number 15. He is a junior. Most of this defense is juniors. Another junior, defensive tackle, DJ Payne, number 95. A couple junior middle linebackers, Luke Moss, number 5, and Rob Roy, number 3. At corner, we have a junior as well here, Isaac Price, number 12. And true freshman, Zachary Joseph, number 26. He'll be on the right side of your screen tonight. Sophomore free safety DeMarcus Green, number 22, and junior strong safety Dylan Tong. And that is the subscriber players for the San Diego Toreros defense. And they're going to try to run it first play. Powers goes nowhere. Rob Roy on the stop. Everyone is rooting for the Citadel in the chat. So hurtful. You got to root for the underdog. And tonight, the underdog is San Diego. Get on. Let's go. Nice stop. Defense looking decent already. Is Cody Lee Jr. a senior? No, sir. He is a junior. Every single subscriber player from the first class is now a junior, except for Darius Mitchell. Nice deflection. Darius Mitchell is a senior halfback from Northern Colorado. Good stop for the Torero defense. See if their offense can come back out and hold on to the football. Carter plays in the chat. What's going on, Carter? How you doing, buddy? Here's Zachary Joseph. Freshman corner on for the return. Gets dropped at the 35. Didn't get anything on that return. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's go post corner here on the left side. Akron got smoked. What was the score? I didn't see it, Jack. Xavier Wilson under center. Take off left side. Demetrius George wide open. And he caught it. Oh, my goodness. He came down with it. I thought for sure that was going to be picked. Prime time, make it a prime time type play. Let's go. Alex Acosta in the chat. What's going on, Alex? Hope you're having a wonderful, what is it, Wednesday? Tuesday. Hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday, buddy. Appreciate you stopping by the stream. Jim Harbaugh coached San Diego before he went to Stanford. I think he might have. Don't quote me on that, though. Robbie Ballard gets a carry. And he's going to pick up nine yards up the gut. You're doing about as good as you could after you lost your first game of the year. That's all right. It's better to lose right at the start than at the end. Ask Dayton. Which team is mine in the FCS? Uh, I mean, I coach five of the teams. We have seven actual coaches for the other teams. And Robbie Ballard falls forward, gets the first down. They lost 34 to 3 and they were ranked 21st. Oh my goodness, that's that's a little rough. Not gonna lie. Don't forget to slap that like button for me, folks. Helps the videos get seen by non-subscribers. Throw it up to the freshman tight end. Oh, he drops it. <laughs> oh, come on. How do you drop that, my guy? What do you mean? All right, let's see what we got here. High snap for Wilson. Oh, boy. Mason's wide open, though. And the freshman tight end gets close to the sticks. Third down in inches. You know we got to give it to the bulldozer. Robbie Ballard, baby. Let's go. Third and inches, and he's got it. Running a couple guys over down inside the five-yard line and a face mask. What a run. So powerful Robbie Ballard is. 
face mask will get us to the two yard line. All right, Robbie Ballard is now in the zone. We gotta give it to him. Halfback ISO, let's get it. Well, John, we actually have 12 total teams that I control each week. Robbie Ballard, stiff arms the defender, walks in for the first touchdown of the season for the San Diego Toreros here in season three. I coach Bryant, Cal Poly, VMI, South Dakota State, and Northern Colorado. The other seven schools are coached by actual people in the Discord. Castillo on for the kickoff. Yeah, that's a good one down to the one yard line. Franklin, nice tackle right there. I believe that was Riley Porter on a stop. Sophomore receiver. All right, first and ten for the Bulldogs of the Citadel. And they're going to try a counter play. That's a face mask on Rob Roy. That's unfortunate. Are we calling a, a touchdown for Tess every single score, Demetrius? Or just when you score, buddy? Because I'll do it every time if that's what we're doing. I ain't got no problem with it. Ooh, toss play left side. Powers. Oh, that's another face mask. The penalties this season. Oh, my goodness. Guys, is it just me or are the penalties outrageous this season so far? I did not touch any penalty sliders whatsoever. First and 10 at the San Diego 45 after two personal foul face masks. And Powers will pick up seven yards up the gut. All of them, Demetrius, I got you, brother. So we got one touchdown for Tess so far this season. I like it. All right, let's see what we got here with the tight end that's on the inside. Probably going to run it anyway. Yeah, fullback dive. And Dargan falls forward. Does he get enough for the first down? No, he did not. Third down and one now. Big play here at the 36-yard line. Better pack 10 team will win the championship if you don't keep each other out of the game. <laughs> yeah, that's the big problem. There's five teams, and everybody just plays so well against each other. Yeah, there's a nice stop for San Diego. Powers nearing 2,500 yards rushing for his career, and the Bulldogs are going to go for it here on fourth down and four. Let's get the stop. Man, wide open on the right. Oh, overthrown. And we get the stop. Let's go. You'd love to see it. That's what happened last year with Cal Poly, Southern Utah, and UC Davis. Absolutely, man. Was, it's crazy every season with the Pac-10. It really is. And Demetrius George wide open. First down and more inside the 30-yard line. Big time catch and another penalty marker on the field. Wow. Insane amount of penalties this season. Outrageous. What happens if two of our teams end up playing for the title? Who do I coach? I don't coach anybody. We watch the game, and I just commentate. There's another penalty, an offside marker on the field now for the Citadel. My goodness. What's going on here tonight? 
This season, what is going on this season with all these penalties? It's crazy. Uh-oh. And Ballard, wow, recovers the fumble. That's going to be the end of the first quarter. Terreros on top, 7 to nothing here in sunny San Diego. I don't know what's up with all the flags, Tyler. It's insane right now. It's crazy. Second down and seven, and another one. Wow. What? <laughs> what is going on this season with the penalties? Second down and two. Robbie Ballard's still in the zone. We're going to give it off to him. And Robbie Ballard, oh, he can't stiff arm him even though he's in the zone, but it does get to a first and goal from the nine yard line. Where's the fans? Well, San Diego didn't get to a bowl game last season, so they don't have a lot of fans in the stands right now. Pass left side, Robbie Ballard's wide open. Another touchdown for Tess. And the Toreros are up. Two touchdowns over the Citadel Bulldogs. Nobody competes against Optimus in the FCS. We all compete for his heart. <laughs> yes, that's the trophy at the end of the season. For sure. Zach Sandlin in the chat. What's going on, Zach? I see that you sent me something. I'll look at that after the game, buddy. And open up my Discord right now. I don't want the stream to lag. 14 nothing. Torero's on top here at home. It's almost summer. Yeah, no, it won't matter if the, if the Rona is still out there, you know. We're just going to go straight from winter to winter. All right, let's go back out on defense now. And they're going to go toss play right side. Nice play. Powers gets seven yards. Can't get there. Powers in the open field just like that. Get out the way, Green. Oh, my goodness. Huge run for Powers inside the 20-yard line. Wow. Remind us who Test Majors is. I mean, Demetrius George can let you guys know in the chat. That was a huge run. Oh, my goodness. Gas okay, driven back in the chat. What's going on, brother man? Uh-oh, broken play and Sims is dropped back at the 24-yard line. Big time loss. Second down of 14. Play right side, Powers. Powers through the tackle of Tong and gets it up to the 15 yard line. Hit that like button, absolutely. Smack it. Slap it real good. Uh oh. Deep shot to the end zone. Perfect throw, and Franklin is in there for the touchdown. The Citadel Bulldogs strike here in the second. That was a perfect throw. Price didn't stand a chance on that play. You're trying not to throw your TV out the window because of Call of Duty. Just uninstall, bro. Just uninstall it. Get rid of it. Get it out of here. It's trash.
All right, 14 to 7. Bulldogs close the gap just a little bit. All right, who we got here? Who is this? Tyler out for the return and down at the 18 yard line. Thurman injured for the Bulldogs. Wilson going play action here. Couple pump fakes. Nobody's open. And I'm just going to throw it away. You're almost max level on the battle pass. Who cares? If a game makes you act like that, don't play it, bruh. Yeah, we had a we had a moment of silence last year for, for Tess. When it happened. Very sad situation. You never want to see something like that happen. But that definitely hit uh, national news. They're down at 11 now. Rough situation for the Toreros. Oh boy. And an overthrow. There's a flag for holding anyway. Oh boy. All right. That was a rough drive. Another flag. It was declined, but still. Up to 20 viewers on the stream. Please do not forget to slap that like button, folks. It helps the videos out tremendously. You have no idea. Here's a nice return from Powers up to the 48-yard line. We're up to 932 subscribers now on the channel. We got a new subscriber during our last stream with the Dayton Flyers. I'm blitzing. Let's go, Dylan. Uh-oh. Okay, good tackle. That would have been bad if you missed that tackle because my area in the secondary was wide open since I blitzed. Sometimes you got to take risks. All right, let's get this. I'll cover Richards at tight end. My sweet revenge. What's going on? How you doing, Audrey? Oh, I missed. No. Oh, my goodness. Zachary Joseph gets blown up by the quarterback. Feels bad. Right, let's switch it up here. Let's go 4-3. Get some more beef on that defensive line. Casey now in there. Oh my goodness, what a hit. Hunt. <laughs> he was on the hunt right there. Three tackles tonight. Three for a loss in his debut. Uh-oh, this is bad. Good tackle by Boot Johnson. Defensive end getting out there. Powers up to 83 yards rushing for the Bulldogs. Get him. Oh, that's first down. Man, Powers is pretty good. Started off good. It was 14 0. The Citadel storming back, though. Couple nice drives. We just cannot stop them. Get up. Nice cut back. Oh, my goodness. He gets rocked by DeMarcus Green. But picks up nine yards. He's one yard shy of the century mark here in the first half.
Doing good, just listening to my brother. <laughs> Have fun. Oh boy, that's a touchdown. Sims in for the score. 14 yard scamper by the quarterback on the option. That is tough to defend with a fast quarterback. You leave five minutes and this is what happens. See, this is all your fault, Jay. What's your problem, bruh? <laughs> All right, now we're all tied up. 14 all. Eight play 52 yard drive. Minute 45 off the clock for the Citadel. Think people should just take their meds? Well, meds don't always help. Doug Lay on for the return. Number one receiver. And Doug Lay up the left sideline. Doug Lay! All the way inside Bulldog territory. Great return from Dougie Doug. One of the top three names in the FCS dynasty. Zoomer Speed for sure. I like Jukes McGee. <laughs> That's a great one. Uh, let's see. Who else? Who we got? I'm trying to think. There's so many players in this dynasty right now. Right side, Robbie Ballard wide open. And Robbie Ballard stiff farming a guy, breaking another tackle. Still going inside the 30-yard line. You love to see it. J.R. Stone got stiff armed into the shadow realm. Get off my field. Who's number seven on the Citadel? That would be. Sims. I don't know his first name. He's not important enough. And oh, off the helmet of Demetrius Primetime George. Yeah, hate to see it. Alright. Second and ten. And Ballard picks up seven yards up the gut. They're down a three upcoming. Powers on the Citadel looks like a small back on Southern Utah. A little bit, yeah. Doug Lay has the catch inside the 10 yard line first and goal. What a throw from Xavier Wilson. Noah, what are your favorite names? I know you like Zoomer Speed. Who else? Who else do you like? Quick pass. Oh, what a deflection. Oh, save the touchdown. Wow. Unreal. Jack Marius tack there. Tracks. Corner for Northern Colorado is a good name as well. Xavier Wilson going to take off. Oh, he faked him out with the pump fake and scores. Touchdown for test number three. Eight-yard scamper for Xavier Wilson. Oh, my goodness. Look at this little move he does right here. Ready? Woo. Oh, faked him out. Oh, that was sick. In SFL, best name is Junior Senior the third. He is no longer in the SFL, sir. 90% of Seattle's roster retired. I have the best name in the SFL, all right? Let's be honest here. 21-14 now. Mr. Highlight is a classic, but almost too easy. <laughs> Mr. Highlight's just great all around. Lito Lozano is a fun one to say. Yeah, it is. Get him. Nice tackle for Demarcus Green at the 24-yard line. Let's 
Junior, senior, the third was your teammate? Yes, sir. I'm, I do know that, Zach. 90% of your team retired. It's a sad day in the SFL. Oh, what a hit. Oh, my goodness. Demetrius George, because it sounds like he's about to have a line or lean cooking gross. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> he ain't George Foreman. Come on, now. Jack Brown in the chat. The Eruption Tan. What's going on, brother? Good to see you stop by to watch your team. Doing pretty good so far. 21-14 as we head into the locker rooms for halftime. Jack Brown trying to right the ship here in San Diego after his first season was... Uh, some would say a failure. Can I play NBA games? Hey, I have two NBA Street videos on here, all right? If you want to watch NBA content with my name on it. They're not very good. But it's there. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Eventually... What what I have time during the day to do more stuff, I will stream all the time. Trust me, I just need to have time. That's the only issue that I have. I don't have time for everything that I want to do. I would like to have three major sports on the channel, baseball, basketball, and football. I would like to have UFC on the channel. I have an idea for a league for that. I have the name and everything already. I just need time for it, man. Back in school, they called you Houdini. I like it. Get him, Dylan Tong. Big stop for a loss of like six yards. My goodness. They're down at 12 now for the Bulldogs of the Citadel. You were honored when I started calling you primetime. Well, you're making some primetime plays, brother. Keep it up. Not too many players get nicknames. Uh oh, I was covering three people right there. What do you want from me? Booker Sims with the first down pass. That is a great name for a quarterback. Booker Sims. I love it. Up to 22 viewers on the stream. As Powers gets loose. Oh my goodness, that was almost dangerous. Second down and seven. All from 2006. I don't know what you're asking right now, Noah. Remember, there's a stream delay. Get him. Get him. Rob Roy with a nice tackle for loss on Powers. His seventh tackle of the game. He is all over the field right now. Oh, my goodness. Pass it here. Deep shot over the middle. Oh, it's picked off by Green. Gets a block and tries to spin. Still up. Finally dragged out the 44-yard line. There's a takeaway for Tess. Let's go, baby. Marcus Green showing his dance moves. He'll be out dancing with the stars in the offseason. Look out for it. My goodness. All right, let's get down the field, get some points, shall we? Oh, no. Wilson sacked. Second down of 15 now. You only played halfback once in your life? Yeah, I've, I've literally played every single position except for the offensive line in my life. 
Doug Lay, first down, and another flag on the field here for a face mask. First down, face mask on the defense. Nicknames that I had in school, well, in football, when I was really young in Pop Warner, they called me Kleinenstein. And then when I got to high school, they called me Monster. I mean, most people just call me Klein. All right. Oh, nice play. Offensive line got bullied right there. All right. Second down and 11. Demetrius George on the out route has the reception inside the 20-yard line. Wilson playing pretty well at quarterback right now. 9 of 15, I believe it just said. Not bad. Do I have any favorite books? Uh, I love the Harry Potter books. I absolutely love those books. And Wilson does not get the first down. Huge stop for the Bulldogs. I also love the Bones of the Dragon. Though that book series that is really good. Yeah, we're just gonna kick a field goal here, try to take a two-score lead. I don't want to make so many mistakes with San Diego and, and just have the same kind of season that we had last year with them. I might have just missed this field goal. Oh, just hooked in there. Oh my goodness. Six play, 40-yard drive. Ends in a field goal, 156 off the clock. It's 24-14 here in San Diego, California. All right, let's kick it off. All right, we got 22 watching the video. Uh-oh, look out. Riley Porter saves a touchdown. We're up to 14 likes now on the view or on the uh, the video. You know what I'm saying? What's up? Your nickname was the Asian Sensation. You're not Asian. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Jesus. You don't be hating on Harry Potter now. Come on now. I love those books. Favorite movies? My all-time favorite movie is Wyatt Earp with Kevin Costner. Favorite comedy is Wedding Crashers. Favorite sports movie of all time is Remember the Titans. Favorite uh, Disney movie is probably going to have to be Brave. There's something about that movie. I love it. And I love Mulan. Mulan's a great movie as well. They're down in 10 here for the Bulldogs. Listen, what's up? Come at me, bro. All right. I didn't get through there at all, but we stopped them. Booker Sims, 2 of 7. 33 yards, touchdown, and a pick. They're still in this ballgame, though. Nice stop for the Torero defense. You've always been Asian. Props to me for not seeing color. Stop it. <laughs> Zachary Joseph gets the ball up to the 30-yard line. I had like a 36-inch vertical when I, I tried out for the CFL. I think it was 36. Tried out for the Calgary Stampeders about, uh, how many years ago was that? Seven? Seven years ago, I think. I'll be Ballard fighting for some yards there. He picks up four yards. Yeah, I got some hops. There was a lot of college talent at that tryout. I had the best short shuttle time. I can't remember what it was, but the, the scout for the Stampeders came up to me and told me I had the best time 
in the entire tryout, which was amazing. There was guys there from Notre Dame, USC, Texas. There was a guy from Yale, a guy from Florida. I mean, there was a lot of guys there from big-time colleges. I'm very quick. I'm not the fastest, but I'm very quick, and I can jump. How tall am I, Tyler? I am six foot tall. Okay, Robbie. Running over the DN, picking up a couple yards. Let's do this. Uh, I was set to try out for uh, Saskatchewan as well. But a few days before the tryout while I was training, I pulled my hamstring. And I couldn't try out for them, unfortunately. I'll be Ballard, a yard shy of the sticks. Yeah, I was supposed to try out for them in uh, Washington, D.C. I tried out for the Stampeders in this little town in New Jersey out in the sticks. This is a beautiful high school football stadium that we tried out at. I can't remember the name of the town. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. 24-14, Torero's on top, looking to start the season off on a high note. Undefeated would be great for them. Six two in my Tinder bio. No, it's Grinder, man. Grinder for sure. Who won it? Block for me, Robbie. Good block. Xavier Wilson, dive down. Let's go, baby. First down. Where did I go to college? I did not go to college, sir. It was an open tryout, so anybody could go. I was the only one there that did go to college. Trust me, there, there was a lot of guys there from huge colleges. It was crazy to me when I was signing up for the tryout. When we actually got there and everything. Everybody wearing their, their college jerseys and stuff. And going up and signing my name down to, to, you know, next to guys that went to these Division I schools was just insane to me. It was blowing my mind every time I looked at the names. All right, second down and three. Just over five minutes left in the ball game. Torero's trying to hang on here. And Ballard falls forward. Gets the first down for the Toreros. He's on fire now. Set and play. 51-yard drive over two minutes off the clock for San Diego. Basically, I was going to try out like Vince Pompali did. Yes, sir. 100%. Bobby Ballard up top. Demetrius George can't come down with it. <laughs> Trying some trickeration here. That would have been a nice touchdown pass for Robbie Ballard. That would have been sick. Davis picks up a few yards. That's a big fullback. And it'll be third down and seven now for the Toreros. They are three of five tonight. The Citadel is four of eight on third down attempts. Switch that, uh, that route up here for George and Porter. Uh-oh. What do we got? Throw it up. Oh, he caught it. Riley Porter for his first touchdown of the season. Let's go. San Diego starting to pull away now. Making it a three-score ball game. Huge catch from Riley Porter, the sophomore receiver. How did I do in high school? I did all right. I'm not, I'm not going to lie and say I'm uh, the best football player of all time. But I am respected by all of my teammates that I've ever had. I play with a lot of heart. And I give everything I got on every single play. I was being looked at by Buffalo State for a scholarship. 
at one point. I never got any accolades or anything, but that was pretty cool. It's the one letter I received. Just couldn't keep my grades up. Or else I would have been playing for Buffalo State. First down and 10 for the Citadels. 31-14 now with 4.15 left in the ball game. And Powers breaking a tackle, but he gets rocked at the end of the run. I'm blitzing. Let's go. Oh, nice cut. And Booker Sims gets rocked again. Demarcus Green with a huge hit. But the Bulldogs do move the chains. And they're going to run it here. Quarterback sweep and get maybe a yard. DJ Payne on the stop. Big defensive tackle. Yeah, Buffalo State, I think they're like Division Three, maybe? I don't know, man. This was... 11 years ago. Oh, nice run by Dargan. Plows over freshman middle linebacker. Or freshman, yeah, freshman middle linebacker. I don't know who that was. Where is Luke Moss? Why is Henry in there? That's, that's weird. Did Luke Moss get hurt and I didn't notice? Sack! No, I don't mean the Buffalo Bulls. <laughs> no, I did not get a Division One offer. That would have been sweet, but I did not. All right, they're going to go for it on 4th and 10 from the 46-yard line. Uh, my my teammate, Fred Russ, actually played for the Buffalo Bulls, though. And Sam throws right side, overthrows his man on 4th down, so the Toreros take over again. Oh boy, another face mask. All these penalties this week are absolutely insane. Yeah, Division 3. Yeah, that's what I thought they were, Marvin. Thank you, buddy. This is over 10 years ago. It's hard to remember everything. My teammate, uh, Carson Mead, went and played there. And there's Ballard in the open field. First down, down to the 31-yard line. Yeah, I can't even remember the name of the coach that sent me the letter. I, I can't remember. Ballard again in the open field. Breaks the tackle. Ballard. Out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Let's go. 17 carries, 5.7 yards per carry. He is a beast. He's never been, you know, like a huge run kind of running back. But he just pounds the rock and just makes that defense pay. Is everyone eating tonight? You haven't had dinner? We had... Uh, big ZD. Robbie Ballard over 100 yards rushing tonight. 18 carries, 102 yards, and a score. Battle pass completed finally. Good. Now uninstall. I just never played again. Hamburger helper with peas? Come on, Tom. You lost me at peas, bud. Second down and six from the 13 yard line. Ballard fights forward inside the 10-yard line. Third down and two upcoming for the Toreros. The Toreros. You're going to go to college to be a sports commentator? Nice. I would love to do broadcasting. Have a broadcasting career. Oh, Bo Davis up the gut. Down to the one-yard line. Let's go.
Yeah, my dream job is to commentate college football. I don't care what level. Just, I think it would be amazing to do that. First to go from the one yard line. And Bo Davis, the big fullback, punches it in for his first touchdown of season three. Another touchdown for Tess here tonight in San Diego. Talking about bowling in the chat now, okay. Whatever broadcast soccer, even though I hate it, um, I would need to know more about it. Because the, the thing for me is I don't want to try to commentate something that I don't know everything about. Like football, I know everything about it. You know, I've, I've loved football from the moment that I, you know, breathed for the first time, as far as I'm concerned. So I can commentate football all day, 24-7, you know. But I don't know anything about soccer. So it's it'd be hard to do anything with it. Oh, my goodness. Powers on the kick return. Okay, Dan. Watch for a flag. Watch for a flag. Oh, and Travis Moody's hurt. Oh my goodness. But no, I would I would commentate soccer if I knew uh, if I knew more about it. I would have no problem doing that. You love bowling? You used to be really good. Yeah, you could have been pro, jackass. Point conversion attempt. And they're going to get it here. Wilson punches it in. Two-score ball game now. Crazy comeback time. 38-22 here in the fourth. 40 seconds left. All right, John, take it easy, buddy. Ballard gets the onside recovery. Bone up on it. <laughs> I don't have enough time to sit here and learn a whole sport right now, Tom. And Ballard breaks two tackles and gets nine more yards. Wow. Don't tell me how to live my life on my channel, Tyler. That's my brother. I'll swear to him if I'm wrong. You be right. Travis Moody out for the game train tricep. Second down and one. We try to run this clock out. And there is Ballard still going. Oh, my goodness. Down to the 24-yard line. He's up to 124 yards tonight. Down here, they're gonna call their final timeout. And that should do it, folks. San Diego starts season three undefeated with a 38 to 22 victory over the Citadel Bulldogs. Definitely a nice start for San Diego after missing the postseason in year number two. Robbie Ballard, great game from him. The defense played really well. The speedy running backs are a bit of a concern here for the defense, though. Powers was running rough shot all over this defense. But congratulations to Jack Brown. Starting his second season with the Toreros off on a high note. Yeah, me and Adam were in a bowling league one time. And it was just three of us. And we ended up winning the bowling league versus teams that had like four and five guys. And they tallied like the final score. 377 yards of offense for San Diego, 165 for the Citadel. They didn't really throw the ball a whole lot, just like Georgia Southern in the last game uh, versus Dayton. Just eight pass attempts. But their running back was really good for the Citadel. 
They had one turnover. We had one turnover as well. And the penalties. The nine penalties in this game. Insane. All right. 14 points in the second. 14 in the fourth. Lots of touchdowns for Tess here tonight. And a big-time win. Wilson, 10 of 15, 184 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. Very solid game from him through the air. And he also had 22 yards rushing and a touchdown. Bo Davis had a touchdown on the ground. Robbie Ballard, 124 yards and a touchdown on 21 carries with a 5.9-yard average. He had a fumble. Wilson also had a fumble. Demetrius Primetime, George, three catches, 75 yards. Nice little 25-yard average. Nothing to sneeze at here. Ballard had a touchdown reception as well. Riley Porter had one. Doug Lay, 35 yards on two catches. And four drops here. Two for George tonight. I don't know what was going on with him. Maybe the junior gear jitters. Rick Wall, six pancakes. No sacks allowed. You lost half of your childhood to ping pong. Is it because you're Asian, Noah? Is that it? All right, one sack. Isaac Price, the corner, got it. DeMarcus Green had the pick. Deflection for Terrence Bell. No force fumbles. Young was 1-1 one -on, -one on field goals. One punt, 43 yards. A 51-yard kick return from Doug Lay. And that is it for this game, fellas. Let me go ahead and see what our next two games are. I think we got two left for this week. We do indeed. Tomorrow night, number two, VMI Cadets. We'll be hosting the Northern Iowa Panthers. And the number one Savannah State Tigers will be hosting the number seven ranked Boise State Broncos, which a lot of people think that they should have been in the national championship game last season against Dayton. So maybe if uh, the Tigers get a big win there, they can shut a lot of people up. That's definitely going to be an interesting game. And I'm looking forward to that one. I know the Savannah State Tiger locker room has been looking forward to it as well. They want to get that game started and just cruise to a win and shut everybody up. All the haters. And it'll be interesting to see VMI as well. I mean, they only lost one time last season altogether. And they didn't really get a whole lot of, you know, respect or talk for the national championship game at all. Which is, you know, kind of crazy. You know, only having one loss on the entire season. But again, that is going to be it for this stream, fellas and ladies, if you're out there. Please, on your way out, slap that like button. Subscribe if you are new. Join our Discord community if you have not already. You can get yourself a player on the field in this series, in this season. We'll do some more mid-season recruits that we'll add. But until tomorrow night with the VMI Cadets and the Savannah State Tigers games, I'll see you guys in the Discord. Take it easy, guys.